I'm ready. Okay. This is name pending. I'm Mike Culberson. And I'm Keeper. So. First things first, new look. New look, I did. I got tired of the beard. I wanted to change the look a little bit. Haven't used the shaver in a little bit. I was about to say, do you guys, it looks like so bad I got, shaver burn. I got a, here. I have a straight razor that I used. Mm -hmm. It wasn't sharp enough. Ooh. So I cut myself a little bit. You have a stroke, don't you? Yeah. Okay. It just wasn't sharp enough. I didn't do it enough. But it's good now. It'll, it'll be fine. I'll probably deal with the five o'clock shadow and let that heal up and then just trim it up. Just have it the same length as the side of your head. There you go. I was actually thinking about that. I mean, I, I personally think that that would look good. You know, just match. Just run a shaver over it. Just I don't know. Buzz. It's a good cleanup. I like it. I was thinking about it, and I was looking at... I was doing a lot of researches. A lot of researches. I often a lot do of researches. researches. No, a lot of research on beards in general, and actors and famous people throughout history and the beards they had. I was like, okay, well, I really don't want a square Amish beard. Yeah. It's like, I want something different. I've had this for about two years now. And you looked at you looked at the Hitler stash, and you're like, mm, still too soon. Still too soon. It's not bulky <laughs> enough. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I'll do some cool little thing here, but I only got, like, this small patch that grows under. So I was like, that's a no-go. So you know what? I'll do the full on, like, goatee-type beard mix-up, and... I like it. See, I let... My wife likes it, too. She she came in the restroom the other day when I was shaving it all off yesterday. Yeah. She was like, what are you doing? And then she saw, she was like, there's the face I fell in love with. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, she hasn't seen my face in years. The face only your wife could love. Hey, you got to start somewhere. Um, I was going to say, I... Uh, Years ago, I had this grown out, just really long, and then just this right here grown out yep. real long, and it was like like these extend pretty far. I was talking my mustache. I was talking to someone about it, and they're like, honestly, it makes you look a lot older. And I was like, hmm. It's funny. I was talking to my coworker at work because I changed shirts one day, and everybody lost their mind. They're like, Are you okay? Is everything okay at home? It's like, Yeah, everything's okay at home. And then I passed him in the hall today. He was like. Are you okay? Because this is like a huge change from what you've had. I was like, yeah, I'm okay. He was like, okay, well, I mean, has anybody said anything this time? I was like, no, you shave your face and nobody cares. You change your shirts and everybody loses their mind. Right. That should be a meme. So we're doing a daytime shoot this time, mostly because we got sweet new microphones. Sweet microphones so I can caress. There's probably all sorts of like rubbing sounds going on here. Uh, uh. <laughs> um, and mostly it was just too impatient to wait till too Friday, impatient so, to wait. So this is post work recording time. That's why it's bright outside. This is why it's bright outside. <sighs> but so we were looking at houses over there by Pipe Creek or land over there by Pipe Creek Bend area. Mm -hmm. Some nice ones on the mountain. Definitely has like a reverse hail Hitler. Like, it's all the way down. Oh. Like, you're like, oh, this is nice. has a beautiful view. And I was like, well, I don't like my whole view would be someone else's entire flat land. Right. That would kind of suck. And my whole acreage is just downward Hill. slant. And then I was like, no, nope, the view is not worth how much it's going to cost to build on it. And all these are dirt roads. Everything out there, dirt road. It's like they're still developing the roads i support this it was like i'm on board we went through there's a road literally called roller coaster road did not let me down at all full-on roller coaster i was tem tempted by a land a, 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 a land um <laughs> i was tempted by mr land <laughs> i was tempted by some <laughs> land down in uh, three rivers yeah when i was hunting and it was like 10 acres and it yeah. was just like this wide and went on forever, forever. Yeah. and i was like it's a really long driveway it's kind of cool and i that's what is kind of steering me away from a lot of properties because i don't just want a smaller i don't mind if there's trees on it i'll have a nice little snake going on yeah all the way through so that way i have privacy but yeah there's there's some nice 10 acre plots and then there's others 
little bit further out by Kerrville. That looked pretty nice, but what I don't like about those is it's it's prairie, and then all the woods are in the back, and then you'd be next to everyone else that builds on the prairie. Yeah, it's like it looks nice, but I don't want to I don't want to deal with that. I'd rather have I'd rather have more terrain a little bit for privacy. Yeah, I wouldn't want to see people, and that's my thing. I'd rather give me more woods. Mm-hmm. It's like because at that rate, I'd have a really long fucking driveway, and in the middle of all the woods, which I wouldn't want to ruin because I want to use them for firewood or something. Because they're real fucking trees out there. Unlike my trash trees. Yeah, unlike that's, your trash trees. That's the only thing I regret is all the cedars on my land. I don't have a lot of real trees out there, and the ones yeah. I do have are very very young. I mean, it it's burning love. Wood. That's all it'd be. Yeah, I mean, which wouldn't break my heart. Mm. Camping season's coming soon. Camping season is coming. Thank you, Lord. So expect one of these with a uh, fire around. You know, it's to be just blitzed out of hammered. our Hammered. Just gone. So that might be like a a double because we'll probably we'll end up split doing, it up. We'll probably end up doing like the first half. We start out sober. And then like the second half is just us blitzed. <laughs> We could do it. And then, like, it, there's the intermission in between, and it's like, drinking has ensued. <laughs> <laughs> drinking has ensued. <laughs> Libation has occurred. Oh, man. I'm super looking forward to the camping season. I really need it. I'm looking forward to I'm it. I'm just, I'm I need, waiting. It needs to be cool. I'm waiting for the, I don't care. I'm not too worried about the daytime temperatures. I'll, I can deal with that. I want the nighttime temperatures to be consistently yeah. cold. Yep. Like, I need 50s and down. Yep. It, need, it needs to be cold. Hands down. So, we are talking about this offline the other day. World of Vets. Yeah. The yeah. world is just going crazy right now. Yeah. Like I'm trying to not be the doomsayer saying that World War Three's on the horizon. But dude, if it doesn't it's feel hard. like it like it's kinda like, hard with everybody we, saying it though. We feel like you know, like the sixties. Yeah. Where like, you know, Korea and you know, everything's fucking going down and everyone's like Dude, all it's going to take is someone just stepping a little bit yep. past this point. Cross the line and, and we're done. Suddenly it's on. No, it's definitely, especially with Israel, Hamas. Right. And now we have protests around the world with other members of the Jewish community. It was like, no, we stand with Palestine. Like, I think there's one in New York. Dude, it's so confusing because you will have stand with Palestine right next to... Whoops. Stand with Israel. And, and they're right next to each other. And a lot of them are family. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm confused. Like, I don't... I do know, what I do know, what has been recorded, because BBC did a, a thing on it before all these attacks, because Hamas was always sharing how they were... Their, well, their advertisements, in a way. Their promotional videos of how all the piping that was brought in from the EU in general for all their water lines to give them water. And then those same pipes with serial numbers on it were used for missiles. <sighs> so we have that side of it. And then Israel and Palestine have been fighting forever. Well, that's, that's my general problem with Western, well, with anybody not from the Middle East involving themselves in the Middle East. Outside of like, they reached out and they fucked up someone's shit. Honestly, when it comes to, like, the politicking and the controlling what they it's do the and overreach. everything, stop. Yep. Leave them alone. Let them figure out their own shit. Yeah, I think there's been way too much overreach for it, a while. Like it, was, America's guilty of it. Oh, what are but, you talking about? We've been the world police forever. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we need to s- s- stop pretending. Like, we go back 120 years. 120 years, whole world looked completely different. Like, third world countries were actually third world countries. Yeah. You didn't have to deal with half the shit we're dealing with Speaking today. Speaking of which, do you know where the terminology for first world and third world came from? Nope. So, first world used to refer to the Western powers. Okay. Second world used to refer to, like, China and Russia. 
like your communist powers, okay. right? And third world was everyone not affiliated with one of those. I didn't know that. Learned something new every day. So I this was one of those things where it was bothering me one day, and I was you like, just looked it up. I need to look this up. And then I found out, and it's just like over time, as you know, Russia collapsed and things in the world has USSR changed. USSR changed to Russia. Yeah, and- it's you know. We lost the terminology for what second world meant. That's yeah, I've never actually thought about first, second, or third world. Now I'm thinking it's like we have first person shooters and third but, person. What's a second person shooter? But realistically, we call countries third world countries that aren't third world that anymore. aren't third world countries. Yeah. Like it, the modern interpretation of what a third world country is, because like I remember when I was a kid, it was like Ethiopia, everyone's starving. Yeah, that was my belief. Everybody's Every, starving and nobody well, has water. That's not the case anymore. They they got the help that they needed. They I think put Ethiopia actually has an infrastructure. They now. have huge infrastructure. They've made so much progress, and all most of it was self-driven. Like, they got the push, and then they took care of it all from there. Well, while we're talking about that area of the world right now, was it we got Dubai? Is it du- UAE Dubai? Yeah, Dubai has these mega structures they're building. Oh, don't get me started no, here on the there's mega one I saw totally fucking floored me. We're talking about a ski complex. We're talking about hundreds of acres of a ski resort in the middle of the hot one of the hottest deserts in the world. It's all going to be artificial snow. Well, I mean and they're going to have what was it? I think it was 10 acres. I think it was more than 10 acres. I think maybe it was more acreage, but they're going to have a floating lake. How? Why? But we also have the giant 100-mile structure that they're building, oh, too. Oh, the one that, like... Everybody like, lost their mind about. Economists but and engineers have been taking a look at it and going, Guys, this makes no sense. There's a reason why we design cities the way we do. Well, there's tribes moved. Tribes are moved specifically because this is the alignment that they wanted it at. I mean, you look at some of the infrastructure that they've slowly been building, which just used to be sand. It's like, oh, let's build a whole new island. Yeah, that's the other thing is their 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 fake islands that they built. And what a catastrophe that is, because unless you are constantly rebuilding those islands. And the other thing is, is I was watching something on it and it was like the water in between the islands is stagnant water. Yep. They're supposed to be having pumps there. And there's just. They're like, so people spent tons of money to get For a like, house there. And, and it's just like, smells like shit. Yep. And not even to mention, like I'm not a big eco person, but just the worldwide economical, not even economical, ecosystem is going to be changed because they keep changing aspects, which is true. The more we affect the water, which the world is 70 some odd percent water, we're, we're going to start seeing issues around the world. Don't worry. The underwater aliens in their secret underwater base are going to come out and tell us to finish doing this. You know, the same ones who have been stopping all the nuclear weapons from being launched. North Korea being the actual Jaeger fighters. That's why they keep throwing. (laughs) I'm telling you, the the more I think about that story, the more I was like. Well, now you mentioned it, you actually have to tell. I totally agree with this conspiracy theory. So the whole, this whole idea of us hating North Korea, they're actually really, really good guys. This is the conspiracy, and they're pretty much fighting aliens that come up from the deep, and they're fighting with nukes, and this is why they've had Sweden with them forever. That's why they gave them the car, so they had all these parts and never really cared about getting their money back. So Sweden's really our connect into North Korea for North Korea actually fighting off... The kaiju. The kaiju. Pretty interesting conspiracy. Which we totally know that's not true because Japan is the ones who fight the kaiju. We know this, man. It was Indonesia. (laughs) (sighs) If there's anywhere that's going to get kaiju, though, we both know where this is. Nope. It's Australia. Will they, though? Australia is the obvious place because, like, an entire country of just, like, shit that kills you and it's, like... Oh, kaiju have appeared. And it's like, no one's shocked. Yeah, no one's shocked. It's, it's Australia. <laughs> so we know these things. Australia's crazy. Everything wants to kill you. Oh, was it? The floating spiders. I saw that photo again. It's like, nope. 
You go to sleep one day, and you wake up the next day, everything is just covered in cobwebs. And there's oh. spiders all over the place. Dude, I'm I was not like, scared of spiders. But, but that's like, too much. I'm not about spider season. But then I saw um, they have crab walkways. So pretty much over this walkway, over this road, is a giant man-made walkway that is so crabs can cross over the highway safely. Like how the chicken cross the road? No, crabs go over the road completely on this See, and that's where they're bridge. fucking up is because they should go directly into a trap and then you eat them. Yeah. Did you know in Hawaii it's illegal to step on a turtle? Really? <laughs> okay. That's an oddball one. We had someone come back from a visit to Hawaii, came back to work, and he was like, did you know they tell you don't touch the turtles? I was like, what? Like, that, that's the strangest way to start a conversation. Did you know in Hawaii, when you get off the plane, they tell you don't touch the turtles? It's like, it's a $10,000 fine. So, of course, the person was like, do I look like a continuous turtle toucher? Like, why did you, like, direct that directly towards me? Like, I, I'm confused. But no, apparently, I mean, obviously, it's all guarded off and cordoned off for all the turtles and their breeding and their eggs and then to keep them safe. But apparently, it's illegal to touch a turtle in Hawaii. Really threw me for a loop because I was like, I'm pretty sure they have tours where you can swim with the turtles and you can touch them. So... I don't know why this reminded me of it, but I saw a video I got annoyed by where I think it was a snake had caught a rabbit. Okay. And someone had come by and they freed the rabbit from the snake. And it really annoyed me because why are you interfering? You're biasing because the rabbit's cute. You're biasing yourself against it. You're essentially ruining that that snake's life because the amount of energy you're yeah that is put into a predator capturing prey in the wild means that it could almost starve to death thanks to you freeing this rabbit because it's cute because you know you're biased for this rabbit let the fucking snake eat the rabbit save the rabbits kill the rabbits <laughs> kill the rabbits kill the rabbits <laughs> <sighs> The world is a very interesting place right now. Well, and now people have all started, like, uh, doing all the arranged TikToks and everything where they save animals. Save animals after they put them in danger? Yeah. It's like, hold on. Give me a little bit of backstory on this. Like, were you walking by and you saw this dog somehow in the middle of a lake? I've never met a dog that just was like, I'm just going to go into the middle of the lake in the very center. No, that that makes zero sense to me. I'd, every time I, mean, I see I those videos, I dislike them. I don't understand it, too, because, like, if I'm trying to save an animal, the first thing I think about it is not, let me turn on my camera. Yeah, that's that's true. Like, that's not my first thought. <laughs> Hold on, let me get recognition for this. Yeah. For, you and your friend are just always, Mike, I'm going to the middle of the lake. Record this. No. Like, I'm probably calling someone at that point. Mm hmm Or the UK, they don't carry guns. The police officers. It's <sighs> fine. They have, no, they have no violent crime there, that's why. <laughs> You're right, their violent crime was someone got arrested for saying one of the... one of the bobbies looked like... It's their cops. One of their bobbies looked like their lesbian grandmother. I was like... Is that hate speech now? I guess so. I didn't read more into it. I was like, oh my goodness. This is this is the UK. I'm not even... I saw something, and I didn't follow up on this. I just read the story in passing, but apparently their, um, their prisons are so overloaded that they're being told, hey, fucking just... If, you can, if the judge can just, like, have them do, like, community... <laughs> Anything to do to get them not sent to prison. <sighs> what? I thought I heard a sound. I did hear a sound. I don't know what it was. Uh, okay. It's the wind. I'm hearing things. Okay. Yeah, you are. You okay? 
<laughs> Still yingling, I'm good. <laughs> oh, it was a moonshine. No, that no, was a moonshine. Joke's on you. <laughs> uh, yeah, the world just, is just going crazy right now. Like, no, some I mean, senator got... was just arrested in China because he had a gun on him. Why did he have a gun on him in China? I don't know. He has security, first off. They, they handle security. From my understanding, they have their own security that meets them there or travels there with all these permits, all these licensing. They're legally allowed to carry. And somehow a senator got arrested there. It's like, wh why? I'm confused. You, you didn't feel like your security was enough? So I got to read more into that one because it happened either today or yesterday. Don't go to one of these countries that you know don't want armed citizens. Yeah. Armed. Don't go to one of these countries with illegal fucking drugs. Or and if you do go, do your fucking research. Well, seriously. Like, well, shoot, even if you travel at all. Shoot, every time I travel out of Texas, I'm like, all right, what states allow this? What states allow this? Right. It... I thought it was common, but it's And then not. you wind your way through the states that let you fuck your sister. <laughs> ring, ding, 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 ding. <laughs> I do like these new mic setups. It's my favorite. You're awfully close to that mic. I know. I can move it back a little bit. Maybe not. It's pretty hefty. I thought you were going to say hard. Maybe. I <laughs> don't oh, know. We'll see how the recording comes out. See if I need to be closer to the mic or further from the mic down the road. But your test with it was hilarious. So we're coming back from viewing all the land. Oh. The test of the microphones. Oh, yeah, the microphone. Oh, so yeah. we're driving back from looking at land because we're looking to build a barn dominium or a house somewhere. And looking for at least five-ish plus acres. Yeah. And... He's like, hey, so I finally tested all this stuff out. And it's like a 12 minute clip of him reading The Hobbit. Yeah. And it was like, okay. Because I really just, I just needed like something long. So Lord of the I Rings, could, my bad. I could, was, I could. No, it was The Hobbit. It was The Hobbit. It was The Hobbit, yeah. yeah. So that I could listen to a, like how the audio came out and, you know, get an idea of like good and bad habits. Yeah. You know, um, I mean, I'm sure that I'm going to hear us doing all those same bad all habits. All those bad habits. Right here. And we're going to have to practice, like, mic discipline or some weird shit. No. I hate you. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> but we're, we're driving down the road. And my wife completely thought I'd just throw in an audiobook, which isn't uncommon. A lot of times when we're driving, I'll just throw in an audiobook and we'll be listening to it. She'll just jump in wherever I'm at. Like, this is where I'm at. You can ask questions. I'll pause it, and now we'll continue. Yeah. So we're, we're talking, and I'm listening to audio in the background while me and her are holding a conversation. And we turn the corner at the last light. She's like, that, that's Mike's voice. <laughs> I thought you threw on a... I seriously thought you threw on an audio book. And I was like, no, that, that's Mike's voice. We got, we got the mics in, and we wanted to test things out. And I was like, well, let's be real. Mike's realistically going to be the one to test it out and tell me what we're doing wrong. Because he's more of the tech and I'm more of the colorful frou frou -y stuff. Yeah. You're, you're the blue hair. Yeah. Do I? No, I don't have blue hair. <laughs> but the amount of houses and property I've looked at that has the Texas flag upside down, hilarious. I, said, I know I sent you the one. Yeah. It was like, look, we're not alone. <laughs> I mean, I, I put... Texas flag up inside my garage and you know what I did is I got down off the ladder I looked up and I was like something's wrong here that's upside down because I'm an idiot there's so many houses up here in the hill country which makes me think they're not native Texans that it's just it, it's astonishing I know one of the projects I want to do is put up flags flagpoles mm -hmm. but I want them to come up from behind my trees up front okay. to go so that you can see the flags over the trees. That would be cool. But looking through all these houses definitely made me think of ideas. No one cares about your house, hunt. Yeah, you know what? I do because I thought this idea was fucking amazing. Go for it. So technically there's three floors, but the third floor is literally just a viewing room. That's pretty much you could put area couches. It's like, that'd be so cool to have a podcast room. 
That would be pretty sweet. Where you just lie. see the back, everything, yeah. yards for days. And then when it's dark, it's dark. It's just dark. That that was one thing I liked. It was like, we looked up, because we got out of there around like 8.30, and it's pitch black there. And you look up and you're like... Oh, yeah, I opened the sunroof, and it was awesome. That's what stars look like. It's like, that's what a star is. I haven't seen that in years, back was, in my day. I was uh, I was out at my grandma's this past weekend, and I'm sitting out kind of late at night because I'm going back and forth between digging through my dad's stuff, and then I come out and I drink, Yeah. Um, as you will. As you will. I um, mean, and my grandma's out there, and she would just sit out there and, like, hang out until I came back out. Hang out? Is she a uh, No, she, she would read. Oh, okay. Um, we did one of these numbers, and I was like, oh, is she either knitting or crocheting? No, no. She's 89 years old. I don't even know if she's got the functionality. I say that she bowls. I think she says that she's averaging, like, 140 right now I'm bowling. Out. She wins. I'm out. Yeah. I'm horrible at bowling. I've never bowled in my life. Ooh. Maybe we could go bowling. I tried to go bowling with Steven one time. Yeah? How'd that yeah, go? Yeah, we just couldn't find a good place. Mm. But anyways. You so, at your grandma's. So, yeah, we're out there, and we're just bullshitting, whatever, and somehow we got on to, because, you know, she purchased the property so many years ago. Yeah, probably like over really, really like, cheap. Like 60 years ago, 70 years ago, something like that, for $40,000. $10,000 to oh, purchase the land and build her house. She purchased 3.7 acres, two plots, and built the house for ten thousand dollars. Her and her husband. Um, and she was like, "Yeah, back. You know, we would go out there and look in the sky and lay back in the and truck was, and look at the stars." And I was like, "Yeah, now you look up and you see the glow of the city. The glow of the city. The whole that was sky. so depressing. I hate. I hate the glow of the city. That's one reason we moved here from where we used to live." And now there's still just more glow. And I was like, this sucks. It increases as the time goes by. I know. I got to move further out somewhere. They don't even have the roads built. That's how I know I'm building in the right area. Yeah, no, pretty much. Like dirt fucking roads. I was glad we didn't take my car. My car would have been crying. It would have <laughs> made it. It just would have been the bumpiest ride. <laughs> and time to upgrade the suspension. Oh, it already has a better suspension than the other the Jeep. Does it? Yep. Nope. Then why would it be crying? Because how many bumps and potholes there were. The difference is we're lifted on this one. So this time to lift the Tesla. Lift the Tesla. Hey, we've joked about it. Another time. <laughs> Thank you about it. Look, you know when this goes big, we'll lift the Tesla and I'll buy another car. So in like a year I'll buy another car. Keep the Tesla and wait for this I to mean, go big. Realistically, you're only a couple of months from replacing the Tesla anyways. Uh, the joke here being is that Keeper replaces his car every six months. He doesn't ever redo his registration. He just buys a new car. So it's good for like a year and a half. Then the registration goes bad because if you always buy new, you don't have to you don't have to pay for that. You don't need new tires. You don't need an oil change. You don't need to change the windshield wipers. I hate you. Like that, that's just what you do. Common millennium here. Yeah, fuck me, man. Bork? Bork. 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 Okay. Oh, well. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, okay, wait. I don't know what to talk about now. Well, what were we talking about? Uh, we were talking about my grandma's, the night sky. Well, let's go back to Pearl. Your penis. Let's finish the stairs that we're building. This let's Saturday. go back to Pearl, who has become a gimpy tri-leg right now. Straight up is gimping along on one leg. We're and just going to call her Weeble Wobbles, except she falls down. Yeah, she does. I'm so sad. And she's like, I can't get How up How old on is the she? Four. Jeez. I'm pretty, honestly, I'm pretty sure she just really pulled something when she was hauling ass one time. And she just hasn't given enough time to heal. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah Saturday we'll finish the stairs. At least rough enough that it's fine for her to use yeah. them. And then, obviously, do some work on it. 
onesies, twosies to fix certain things. Yeah, I just need, I need to cut out the steps before you get there, and I need to, I need to get the the rubber grommets, the couch grommets for the bottom. Yeah, the ones that screw in or the ones that's sticky. The ones that screw in because I want to be able to redo it so that it's level, okay. so that it's not doing the kunk 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 kunk. <laughs> That every piece of furniture that I've ever made does. Every piece of furniture I've ever owned does. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. It's like... Even even that does it. I guess that's furniture we made. Te technically, yeah. Technically, we made this piece. We can't do nothing straight. I drive straight. That's about it. I shoot straight. I shoot straight too. At least once. I have a kid. Oh. <laughs> is, that, is that where we were going? I was waiting for the. <laughs> is that where we were going? The two brain cells were just like. <laughs> I was like, did you kill someone? Is that what we're talking about? This is a weird forum for it. I'm a saint. I've never killed a single it's person. It's awfully in my life. bright outside for this discussion. I do not have any alcohol in my system. I do, but not enough to talk about my past that deep. Mm-hmm. So, would definitely love to have a person out here on the podcast. I feel like he'd be pretty interesting. Yeah. Bring some intelligence and different perspective. There's going to be a dead period right in the middle. I can feel it. With him? No, with this recording. Like, we, we've died. We, like we totally just, lost, like, fell off the face of the we earth. We fucking lost all of our energy. And we're just sitting well, here like, man. Well, we, so, we're talking about building. I have this, obviously, it's made in China. But it's a micro build. And it's actually, like, a mech spider with a giant light bulb on the back. It's supposed to take six hours. Note, I've already took six hours to build this thing. It does not just take six hours. It's Legos on crack for someone that actually does like mechanical stuff. Yeah. But using the smallest tools known to, they're like, all the tools are like glasses tools. So you're, you're over here trying to tighten it and the pieces are so small and I don't have big hands already, but holy crap, trying to, my fingers don't work that small. No, you're a giant clumsy individual. I mean, giant relative to other people. Other to me, people. you're a small guy. I am a small guy. You're a nitty guy. I did start looking at a uh, electronic motorcycles for Ruth though. Because she started walking around on her little four-ped tricycle type thing. Yeah. So the next step will be the actual tricycle. And then we'll throw a motor on it. I support this. It's like, th this works because she has area to ride it. And then we get her skateboarding. And we could. That'd be cool. Yeah. I'm not that versed in We got a person. Old man? Yeah, old, old man. Old man Rivers. Bring in old man Rivers. <laughs> He's, he's going to make us placards, and I gave him 100% creative. He's like, make Mike and keep her. Nice. Go for it. Because I want to, I love doing that. I was like, all right, here you go. This is my idea. Go with it. What, what's in your mind? Make it come out. Mm-hmm. So I'm excited about that. Because he does have a lot of creative. He is very creative. A lot of creative brain juices. Uh, even though he grew up in Utah. Utah? Utah. He grew up in Utah. Oh, Sweet Utah. Sweet. They're one of the only states without, like, actual premium gas. Really? Yep, they don't have 93. Why? In a lot of places, they don't have 93 in Utah. Why? High octane. I don't know why. I didn't dive more into it. It's just something I've known for a while. I know at higher elevations, you need a higher octane. Well, I know, I think it's Jersey or Vermont. I don't know, one of those New England-ish states where you can't pump your own gas. I think they repealed that in Jersey. They're opening it up so now more people can actually pump their own gas. But now you have people that have never pumped their own gas, never left the state, and they don't know what they're doing. Yeah, well, yeah. It was like I know I got in trouble when I was in New Jersey for pumping my own gas. The guy's like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, "Pumping gas." It's illegal. 
What, what do you mean it's illegal to pump my gas? But how am I supposed to fill my gas? And you just hand, you hand this person your card through the window because you don't know this person. And it was just, because every time we traveled. Oh, no, I got out and I talked to him. I mean, every time I've been alone, I've done it. But when my family went and it was just my mom driving because my dad was deployed, 100%, my mom just slipped the card through and was like, so you won't open the window for this person. Hear me out. You won't open the window, but you'll give them your card. I can drive off without the card. I get, I 100% understand where she's coming from. I don't. Yeah, but you're a dude. Oh my gosh. I'm sexist, apparently. Yes, you are. <laughs> we all are. I think we're biased. I'm definitely biased. I don't think I'm sexist. Listen. Look, when you get is... Ginger on here and she tells me I'm sexist, I'll 100% agree with don't that. Don't make me call Ginger up. Do it. I am 100% on board with this. I would, but my phone's recording. Oh, yeah. Well, one of these months we'll get to Yeah, course. right. Yeah. I think I might need shock thing, like shock encapsulators for this. So you don't touch it because you're bumping it all the time? Yeah, because I've bumped it like... And I just bumped the entire thing. So I was thinking, it was like, down the road we could totally have the pieces here, like four of them. Because then you could totally just manhandle your mic. Yeah, this I actually, mic. I don't think this mic here I'm a fan of. I think over here would be better. Yeah, in the middle is kind of... Eh. Like, I feel like I'm losing space. You feel claustrophobic? No, it's just I keep hand gesturing is like... So I found a fun fact out about the Navy the, uh, earlier today. They got rid of their red stripes. Anyone over 12 years... You don't have red stripes. I don't know what this means. Red stripes pretty much means you've got in trouble or it's like a punitive action. So you have your rank, but now you have red stripes. Each stripe represents how many years you've been in and equates to like two or four years. I think it's four years. So, <clears throat> God bless me. But essentially they've got rid of it anyone after 12 years. Like you can't get red stripes. You'll just get other punitive actions, which my dad retired on red stripes. At 23 years. Okay, so I don't understand. So you know why, how army why, rank. Yeah. And you know how in mess dress of uniforms, they have stripes here. Yeah, for how many years you've been in. And it's the Navy has the same thing. So in their mess dress, they have, once you get to, I think it's like chief, you have your gold chiefs, then you have your red chiefs. They're the same rank, but one got in trouble, one didn't get caught. Wait. I'm so confused. Your E7. Yeah, but why is... So is it like permanently red? You're red for like three years. And then you can earn good behavior back. It's a... It's been a thing This forever. is super fucking confusing. It's been a thing forever. This is super confusing. I, a chief came out to smoke and I was like, Oh, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions about Navy stuff in general? My dad's serving. I'm just more curious where it's at today. He's like, sure. So he joined around 2001, 2002. So he was here during the transition to, oh, we no longer do red stripes, anyone over 12 years. It's like, why? What, do you know why they changed it? He was like, well, because it ended up being a badge of honor to retire on bad terms from uh -oh. the Navy. And I was like, okay, that, okay, this is starting to make more sense. So around 16, 17 year, somehow I'm gonna, I don't know, drive home drunk yeah, and get caught intentionally. And okay, I deal with this and I get red stripes and I look like a badass. Well, I mean, we always had a saying in the army is that you'll never make um, Sergeant Major unless you've had an Article 15. <laughs> it probably used to be that way. I don't know if it's that way anymore. But you look at some of the, the old tops across the board Oh, yeah, they, they got some nitty-gritty dirt that they've done. They're like, oh, well, I came back from this. And that's their overcoming story. Mm -hmm. And now you hear it's like, well, I've been drinking the blue Kool-Aid for all these years, and I never got in trouble. Eh. Uh, you just never got caught. Or if you really drank the Kool-Aid and just never got in trouble, I don't know if I trust you. I don't know if I trust you now. I mean, it's no different than 
Oh, was it North Korea released the? Oh, the douchebag, the army guy. Yeah, who went across the border and apparently he had child porn. See, I didn't know that. Like that was, I found that out. I think by you and I was like, holy cow. I read it in a news article somewhere where he was being brought up on charges and one of the charges was child porn. And I was like, no wonder North Korea didn't want his ass. I mean, I know they had the whole drunken disorderly and then he beat up a, a Korean cop and I know they had all that, but then it was just like, you just dip and run to North Korea. Okay, fine, we'll never see you again. You'll be some mouthpiece for North Korea. And North Korea's like, we don't want him. Yeah, no, they're like, no, <laughs> there's a bad report against him from North Korea. And I was like, damn boy, how, how fucked up are you being? Yeah. It, it's wild, though. You think about stuff like that. And it was like, how many people have been POW? Because I think he has a POW status now. Does he? He might not. I know it was talked about. Where's your... My my finger tapper tablet, it's charging because it's almost dead. You faggot. Look, we got everything else down. And we don't have the table, we don't have both tablets. Well, we're still not sure about the table. I kind of like the table. I kind of like the table. I mean, we'll see on the video. I don't know. Well, one of those videos is not very good representation because we only have one camera angle the entire time. Yeah. Because... Both of the cameras fucked up. But we're slowly, slowly growing. Like, this one could totally be podcast, but we added mics. Yeah, I'm totally going to make that. <laughs> Name pending. With mics. <laughs> Look, it's Mike with Mike holding a Mike's Hard Lemonade. Boom. That would be awesome. That'd be a little screen capture shot. Why am I like all your screen capture shots? I don't know. You're just the one to pop up. Wow. You don't want to show your face. No, I mean, literally, you're the one that pops up in the thumbnail for YouTube. Mm. So I'm just like, okay, okay, I guess it's Keeper. I feel like I'm being targeted. Well, you haven't seen the latest one. That's not you. Oh, good. Have you thrown it up yet? or? Yeah, it's up there. Okay. It's been up there. It's supposed to re be released on Friday. No, I watched that one. Every Friday. I watched that one. I reviewed that one. I thought, oh, I don't know. I don't remember. Well, I mean, I I set a title and, you know, did words, tags, <laughs> thumbnail. <laughs> did all the YouTube's things. Did the YouTube's. <laughs> Very nice, yes. <laughs> all the YouTube's. So, back to cars. This is something I was thinking about. All the money in the world, you have to keep your car. What would be the first modifications you would do? My current car? You have to keep the cars you have. You have all the money in the world, but you can't buy new cars. Um, I mean, you know the first modification I would do. XO delete, yeah. Well, no. Then no. You should. We've talked about it. The exhaust delete. No. No. I would... Do the Mustang first. Oh, I thought we were talking about the truck. Well, you said keep the cars you got. You said cars. You said plural. Uh, yes, I do know the plethora of things we would do on. I mean, which the, should be coming on other channel. We'll be working on. Yeah, because I got purchases I got coming through soon ish for that. Name pending the shop things. I don't know. We're still working on. Yeah, we're verbiage. workshopping the shop. Name the, pending workshopping? Work shopping. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, then it sounds like a shopping channel. Um, yeah, name, that does sound like a shopping channel. Name pending. Name pending things with our hands. Nope, never mind. We'll worry about that another time. <laughs> it's going to go downhill real I do, quick. I do lots of things with my hands. Name uh, pending. Fondling that meat. <laughs> I do things with my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, yeah, we should do, like, we should do everything. Like, just be, like, barbecue. Yeah, name pending does things. Name pending does things. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> I'm, so glad, I'm so glad you guys are here for the inception <laughs> of the next iteration. Name pending does things. Yeah, that'll be our, our <laughs> secondary <laughs> channel. 
where you can see the pearl steps and mm. Ash Daddy Stang. Mm. The Ash Stang. The Ash Stang. <laughs> the Ash Stang. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, if I didn't want to deface that Mustang, I would get <laughs> Ash Stang. Put over it. Hashtag so, Ash Stang. I was thinking that back window of doing, what do you think, how do you think about... You need to take the bubbles out of it first. Uh, you need to detint it and fix... You just need to get the rear window replaced. Realistically, that's... Uh, I don't want to replace the... That's expensive. But if you want to get rid of the bubbles, and if you put anything on the back for any flare or anything there at all, or well, even tinting... You didn't let me finish. Never. My bad. Do you know the, the like, Mustang, like, plastic-looking cover thing? Yeah, the Mafia covers. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of those? I mean, that would be good. You already don't have sight out of the back, so it wouldn't well, change anything. Well, I'm like 50-50 50 yeah. on them, right? Because, like, part of me thinks they look good, part of me doesn't, you know? I had it on my Challenger. I loved it. Yeah? I didn't have sight out of the rear view mirror, well, but I, mean, I didn't care. There's not a very big lot to see back there anyways. No, you, the rear view mirror is for the dogs and my child. Yeah, right? That, that's it. I don't even use it now in any of my vehicles. I use it. I've seen you drive. I don't think you use your rear view mirror unless you see it going cherries and berries and then you're like, oh, shit. What's, what's wrong with my fucking driving? <laughs> well, what? We were driving back from your house dealing with the toilet escapade after we went and did, I guess, these. And you just had all these smudges from Pearl. Oh, Is that yeah. what it was? And I was like, oh, just give me a microfiber. Oh, no, give me a napkin. <laughs> no. Spit on your hand and then you just rub it <laughs> yeah, off. I, I was like, "You here. made it worse." <laughs> and it smears it all <sighs> over the place. I was like, "That didn't get any better." Like you visibly made it worse. Sent them over here. This whole time, there's <laughs> there's a microfiber right here. I grabbed the napkin because I didn't see the microfiber. Pour some of my water. What do we do? We hit a bump. It goes all over me. I was like, "Oh, okay, whatever, cool." I wipe it and I look. You got a microfiber right here the whole time. So I throw this on the ground, clean it up. I was like, "Look." It's clean. And what does this jackass do? <laughs> One finger. <laughs> and he didn't even do it with his right hand. <laughs> like his right hand just right there would have been fine. He overextends his left arm while he's driving, touches it in the dead center. <laughs> it's like, I hate you. It's not even my truck and I'm cleaning it. Uh, no, the best one was when I misjudged that uh, how bumpy that one spot was going to be. And he goes, oh, bam! And I was like, oh, man, that was oh, real yeah. bumpy. And he's like, oh, I didn't like my back today. <laughs> I didn't want to feel, I just wanted to feel pain all day. Yeah, I, I did feel pain all day. So we left Laos. Was it Laos? Yeah. No, it was Home to Pot. Home to Pot. Home to Pot. We left Home to Pot with all this stuff. And it was it was in the back in normal Texas fashion. It, it was super janky. It existed in it the back. It was not good. <laughs> I would even go pull it out, and I was like, let me pull it over here. I don't trust that shit. I'm not going to be that Texas guy who has it fly out the back. And hit someone else on a two-lane road. And then I drive off because I'm not going to have to pay for that insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come to Texas. <laughs> Look, we had or or more likely, whoever had shit fly out the back drove off because they didn't have insurance. Realistically, that's what happens. I've had bags of concrete hit me on the bike. That sucks. Really? Oh. It ruined the whole left side fairing I, and. I was back in the day when I was, I think I was in my Civic back then, but I was leaving Fort Hood on my way to Austin. You had a blue Civic, didn't you? No, it was gray. No. It was like gray-brown. I just, a lot of people had blue Civics. Not me. Anyways, besides the color of my Civic, <laughs> I got I got another brief aside for that one, but... Gray I'm, Civic. I'm driving, and I've got my buddy in the passenger seat, and I'm in the left-hand lane, and there's a truck in front of me, and it's got one of those sketchy couches just hanging out the back, and I'm like, huh. I should move. Eh, we'll see what happens, and it comes flying out at us, and I'm like, uh, uh, just like, yeah. just like right around me, I look over, and my buddy is just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's like, fuck, <laughs> we just missed that, man, and I was like, I, uh, I guess? 
Did we though? So about the not blue Civic, my dad went with me when I bought that Civic to help with negotiations and shit. And we're driving it back to their house over there in Houston. And like my bald dad, right? Yeah. Um, and my real mom- Real estate daddy. Yeah. And my mom- <laughs> Daddy real estate. Wow. <laughs> All the names are coming out. But my dad, or my mom calls us, and she's like, oh, what color is it? And I look at my dad, he looks at me, and I was like, I don't know what color it is. He's like, I don't like <laughs> I just bought this car. I couldn't tell I you what, color, know what it color it is. It's not what's important to <sighs> me. No, I definitely had that. We bought, so my 18th birthday, my dad just got retired. He was in Bahrain. He bought a yellow duck truck. It was a yellow truck that looked exactly... It was a Chevy Silverado, 1500 Z, Z7 or the Z... Yeah, the Z71 or Z17. But finally brought it back to the States, but it was exactly what you'd expect an E2, E3 to have their truck like. 100%. That's, that's what it was. So day before my 18th birthday, Dad gets hit after picking up the balloons for my party and all the other stuff for the family party, the cake and everything, had my little brother in the back and he gets hit by a semi. The best part of this whole thing was there was already a news crew out there. So they recorded the crash and the best part was one of the windows broke so you just see the balloons come out shortly after and are just hanging there. And this was aired all over the news in Maryland. It was hilarious. It's like, man gets hit by semi that runs red light (laughs) and then you just see the balloons like it was like the halo grump birthday party yeah yay Yay! (laughs) except that a kid was lost no really he's a ginger so he's alive I mean somewhat somewhat maybe not the same level me and you think of alive but alive I don't know what that is because I'm dead inside Maybe you're a ginger. There's only one way to find out. You can't take my soul. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, we need a new topic. Hold on. New topics. Throw a comment down below. And, uh, oh, well, we can't read it now, but we can read it next time. One of these times. We need a new topic. So, I've been looking at getting my pilot's license. I've I've looked at getting my pilot's license. Just for a helicopter, because I'd want a helicopter so I can go from point A to point B ranch to ranch I was I was going to do um, like plane well in Texas it's just one license is it uh-huh. well but I wanted it for to like get like for a Cessna private, private for, for private yeah use that'd be cool because I was like it'd be super cool to be like oh I'm gonna hop on in my plane and go up to Wherever, fucking yeah. Washington because and you can do it why not and you can legally do it yeah like, there's nothing stopping you. You just have to let air control know you're coming to land at whatever places or pre plan where you're going to land. As we talk, a plane's flying overhead. I bet you this mic picks it up. So, continuing, the only reason I want to get a Cessna is because there's a I'd want it on my own land all the time which is why I'd want more of a helicopter I would just park it at the private airport I wouldn't that's want directly to a bay park it at the private airport that's literally right behind my property I wouldn't want to rent a bay that's what it comes down to well don't be a bitch be a bro well that's why I'd get a helicopter well, do you know how expensive helicopters are yes actually I've been looking like they're way more expensive than planes they're pretty much the cost of a house for the ones I've been looking at. Yeah, no. No, no, no. Yeah, the ones I've been looking at. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm saying no. Oh. I'm saying no. You're right. Planes are like at, for a used one, you can get at like 100,000, anywhere down to like 60. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm aware. And I want one that's like taped together, it like rattles when you turn it on. You're like, yeah, this is safe. I'm in danger. <laughs> I've actually thought it would be really fun to, like, when I retire, be, like, just, like, get a seaplane and, like, island hop. See, I've thought about a boat, like, one of those house boats. 
and doing that. They're now called yachts, but in the 80s, they're houseboats, and I'd buy an older 80s one. Yeah. Refurbish that bad boy and just take that out in the ocean. I'm sure it's safe. What could go wrong? Nothing. The kaijus. Kaijus could go wrong. That's only if you're near Korea. North Korea specifically. Or Australia. Or Australia. Or maybe Japan. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> it's one of them. It's one of the multitude. This is when we get fucked up and like giant hole opens up in the middle of the United States and fucking kaijus come out of it. We always knew it was Oklahoma. <laughs> Colorado. Turns out that the hollow earth theory was true this entire time. We always knew Nebraska was the great sinking hole of the world. That's really Oklahoma. No, Nebraska's more center. Oklahoma just sucks. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying is Oklahoma's the giant sinkhole of the United States. Yeah, it's where cows go to die. You know what else goes to die? No. This conversation. This conversation is going. But planes. Have been looking at planes. Have been looking at helicopters. Cost about $20,000 to get your license privately. Yeah. So with that, it equates like 400-ish hours. You have so many hours um, in a classroom, so many hours outside the classroom, and I think you have like five written tests that you got to pass. It's like, so this is doable. I've realistically done harder things in my life. Yeah. Like wake up every day. Right. <laughs> Fucking can't say that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, ah! <laughs> Zing. Yeah. Almost got him. Next Can't time. say that one. But it's doable. It's entirely doable. $20,000. You can realistically do that in a year, two years, get it all done. With, like, slight change to your current cost of living. Yeah. And I mean, you can rent out helicopters and planes. Yeah, or you could... Buy one. Buy one. I've, I've, lo I've legit, and I've done a lot of research on like okay how big of an airplane would i need to get to load it with a motorcycle like 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 i've done like a lot of research the deep stuff yeah, yeah. no i've looked it was like okay for my pets me the wife the kid it's like okay ooh, now we're coming down to speed and distance between helicopter and plane yeah it's like okay i'd have to have to make a couple more stops in the helicopter and i was like yeah well i mean you know how cool it'd be to be like Oh, well, Mike's technically like 30 minutes away. Let's cut that down to 15. <laughs> that would be way too extra. That would be way too but extra. But let's be real. If you get all the money in the world, it, it wouldn't be an issue. If I get all the money in the world... Everyone's starving, but... Well, I mean, yeah, I'm okay with that. Brisket every day. Yeah. I mean, realistically, it, I think we've talked about this before, is there is nothing that I want that I don't already have well that I'm not going to be able to purchase yeah you're already working with my, towards that with goal. my income all all like if I won you know a billion dollars like it's like okay well I could I'm debt free <laughs> I'm debt free and I could buy a couple of the things I was already going to be able to buy yeah it was just sooner like okay I've sped that up and then I think the only big thing I would buy would be like you know, a few hundred acres off, oh, yeah. off, like, somewhere. There's... It's up there by Junction. Yeah, Junction. There's one by Junction, 11,000 acres for $20 million. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, right? It's like, I got a billion dollars, I'll throw 20 million, just... And then this would just be my camping spot. Oh, and it cracked me up. There was one bedroom in this 3,000-square-foot house. One master bedroom, like, cordoned off for... Pretty much 1,500 square feet is the master, and everything else is just outlook on the world of everything else's land. And you just see all these deer antler piles in one section, and then all the lesser deer antler piles. <laughs> this is out this front door where he has these giant behemoth gates. And I was like, I would live there. I, I would totally And then it has there. like a small little pool there. It's small. It's probably big, but it's from an aerial footage, so it's like... That'd be awesome. And he seriously just has an outdoor track around his whole his whole property. 
Yeah, but I mean, th that would be the thing. It's like, what are you going to do? And I was like, ah, I figured... What I already plan on doing. I figured I'd hike the border of my, <laughs> my property. <laughs> to like, it's going to be like, you know, I'll take a week to do it. Yeah. They're like, where are you doing? It's like, I'm just going to hike the border of my property through this month. Through this month, yeah. And like, I'll, I'll camp at different spots, get yeah. different scenery. My dogs will come in, so i got to carry dog food. And, yeah, and it's like, realistically, I'd, I'd probably get to carry a cart, so that way... Pearl, if she gets too tired, can exist in there. Yeah, I'll, I'll have like a, a four wheeler. Yeah, and just and just cruise around the property, and they're like, "Where are you doing?" It's like just existing. Just I'm looking for good places to camp. Yeah, <sighs> camping season is coming so close. Yeah, we keep circling back to camping season. It's because it's true and dear to our heart right now. It's getting colder. I'm tempted outside. to just pull the trigger, just like any weekend where it's like, "Hmm, that's cold enough." That that's cold enough for camping. I mean, you got your back 40 we could camp on. We could camp on my back 40 whenever. Mm hmm And by we, I mostly mean you'll set up the tent and I'll go hang out with you. Because I'm too lazy to set up my tent. <laughs> your own house? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we definitely got to gotta get to camping at some point. Real soon. Oh, God, I know. Anyways, <laughs> this has been Name Pending. <laughs> I'm Keeper. I'm Mike Culberson. I need you to fuck that like button. And throw a comment, flare below. Flare. Flare. Flare? Flare. What's uh, a flare? I don't know. You know, like the uh, emojis and stuff. Like them kids do nowadays? Yeah, like them, ki like I, them, hey, them kids Hey, we already do. said it's not really the kids. It's our parents. My parents haven't watched this yet. No, my parents are the ones who throw emojis everywhere. That is true. Yeah. But it's been name pending. Fun hanging out with y'all. All right.